welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add and manage custom apps on the Hotspot Network Manager. So um, we just go on the preview and I want to show you uh, the apps. So this bottom bar here is the app bar. You can see you have this default app with the info, with the login. Of course these are customized on your base version. You don't have this but these are customizable. Now we will see how you can customize this. We have the weather app, this route, and then we have this custom. So in this case, you can see we have this Cricket News that is based on an external website and uh, this internal app like this menu or this uh, festival guide that is always related to an external app, external website, sorry. So this is, uh, these are external apps and now we can see, uh, we will see how you can create this. So we go back on the administration and um, what we need to do is start from the domain level and click on a context menu and enter on the custom apps menu. Here, in this case, we have we already have the app, but what we need to do is just click here on the plus and add custom app. And this will be the window that we need to fill. So we have the internal code. This is just uh, the code of the app. And then we have the... Um, type of app. This is really important because this is um, what defines the type of app. So it could be external, so based on an external website and you just paste here the URL or if I switch to internal you will see that now you can see that we have this um, this accordion menu here on the bottom that uh, lets you add HTML, CSS or JavaScript. So if we switch to external, this disappear. If we switch to internal, this appears. And so also URL is not working. So what you need to do is just to choose um, the type of app that you want. So in this case, it's external. So it will load inside the system uh, this URL and automatically a wallet garden is open for you. So don't worry about that because the system will take care of that. And uh, if we go back on the other app, is the festival menu. We can enter on edit. Of course, we have the icon. This is the name. The title is the, um, the title of the app, of course. And internal, you can see that now on HTML, we have this simple um, HTML code that just load an image, but it's enough for what we want to, to achieve. Or it could be some more complex with JavaScript or HTML or whatever. So just remember the type of app, the icon, of course, with the recommended sizes. And then we can save. Once we have uh, our apps ready, so we have uh, both apps here on the, on the list, we go back on the domain and edit the domain settings. And we have custom apps here. Here we choose which app we want to load. We can delete all the existing app and we can add our custom app. So uh, these are other custom apps that I have inside my, my demo. And we can add unlimited custom apps and uh, save. And if we refresh the preview, now we go back and refresh, you will see that we have the two apps and also this 3D view app that is another app that uh, now it's not available, but we have also uh, the possibility to add custom apps with uh, with no problem. So this is what we can do with the with the custom apps. Of course, everything is uh, is responsive. So if we um, analyze this on a, um, on a smartphone, you can see that the apps are working great also here with this uh, with this menu. So you can close, you can open, you can do whatever you want. Go back to the login and. Uh, that's it. So these are the, the custom apps and this is how you can do in order to create your customers. Just up to you what you what you can create. Thank you.
system to the latest version of course you need to have a valid GUID in order to have this upgrade but with just one click the system will do a backup and update all the database table and files and whatever so uh, you are always safe that uh, you are working on a, on a new version without any bug in another video we will see the data structure, the search and all the other. For the moment this is just an overview of the dashboard and the main feature of the sidebar. Thank you.